Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do a simple torsion example to get a more comfortable feeling and understanding of how we calculate the twist angle, which is what we're trying to do here. So we have a disc suspended from a thin rod. The length of the rod is 0.8 meters and the radius of the thin rod is 2 millimeters. It's made out of steel. So here we have what we call the modulus of rigidity at 79.3 times 10 to the 9 pascals. If we apply a force parallel to the edge of the disc of 10 newtons and knowing that the radius of the disc is 30 centimeters, what will be that twist angle? And the equation that we use here, the twist angle can be calculated by multiplying the torque times the length and dividing it by the modulus of rigidity and the torsional constant J. Now we're going to use a torsional constant for a circular rod. Let's plug in some numbers and see what we get. So the angle is going to be equal to the torque. By definition, the torque is the force times the perpendicular distance from the point of rotation to the line of action of the force. So that would be force multiplied times the radius of the disc R. We multiply that times the length, L, and then we divide that by G, which is the constant here. That would be 79.3 times 10 to the 9 pascals. And then we multiply that times what we call the torsional constant. For a rod that is equal to one half pi times the radius of the rod r, small r here, to the fourth power. Now we have everything we need to calculate that angle. Theta is equal to, that would be 10 newtons, times the radius, 30 centimeters, which is 0 0.30 meters, Length 0 0.80 meters divided by 79.3 times 10 to the 9th. Multiply the times 1 half pi. And the radius is 2 millimeters, 0 0.002. We have to raise that to the fourth power. In just a moment, we'll see how the units work out as well. We should end up with radians. So let's try and see what we get. 10 times 0.3 times 0.8 divided by 79.3 e to the 9th divided by 0.5 divide by pi and divide by 0 0.002 to the fourth power and we end up with let's see here yes theta is equal to 1.2 radians all right so that's about 60 70 degrees of twist based upon that force now, unit-wise, let's see what we get. So, on the units, force will be newtons. So, we have newtons multiplied times radius is in meters, and length is in meters. So, in the numerator, we get newtons times meters times meters, divided by, in the denominator, we have pascals. Now, pascals is newtons per meter squared. Newtons per meter squared for pascals. And we have radius to the fourth power. That would be meters to the fourth power. Like that. All right, first of all, we have meters to the fourth, meters squared, so this cancels out this, and that becomes meters second power. Now we have meters times meters in the numerator, which cancels meters in the denominator, or meters squared in the denominator. And we have newtons divided by newtons, that cancels out. But in other words, all the units collapse, they cancel, and so therefore the only thing left is radians, which is really a non-unit. We typically don't write that, and so we know that the units are correct. So here's a nice little example of how we apply that equation to calculate the twist angle. And that's how it's done.